Hey everyone, Ewan here. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, but more on that later. Death in superhero comics is rarely ever permanent, so it's difficult to get folks truly riled up when they happen. However, there are some deaths that are so sudden, they absolutely blindside us. Like when Green Goblin killed Gwen Stacy, or when Jules killed Mr. Mixelplick for having a name that sends voiceover people into a blind rage. Trust me, you don't want to be in the vicinity of that guy when he gets angry. By the way, I'm Ewan, you're watching War Culture Comics, and here are 10 comic book deaths you never saw coming. Number 10, Blue Beetle, Countdown to Infinite Crisis, number one. While looking into Amanda Waller's intelligence agency, Checkmate, Ted Kord discovered she had files on nearly every super being on Earth. Checkmate's leader, Maxwell Lord, then confronted Kord and informed him that he was intending to wipe out every metahuman on the planet. Because Lord was once friends with Kord and was not bored, yeah, and he also worked with the Justice League too, that's important as well, you'd assume he would just imprison Blue Beetle to stop him from telling his teammates. But no, instead Lord blew Blue Beetle's head off and that was it. What makes Cord's death so tragic is that it could have been avoided if the superheroes had taken him seriously. Unfortunately, at the time, the Justice League was on the verge of collapse and Batman had severe trust issues, causing all of Cord's warnings to be ignored. Number 9. Batman Deceased In the Deceased miniseries, Darkseid imprisoned Cyborg on the fiery world of Apocalypse, where he was exposed to a tech version of the anti-life equation. Once Cyborg was transported back to Earth, his cybernetics automatically went online, causing the virus to spread through the internet. If anyone came into contact with any social media, even for a second, they were instantly transformed into mindless zombies. Because that's life nowadays, 600 million people were infected within the first five minutes. At first, you'd assume a superhero like Batman would create an antidote to inoculate humanity and return everyone back to normal within a day or two. But Deceased is not one of those stories. No, it's written by Tom Taylor. In the first issue, Nightwing was corrupted by the anti-life equation, forcing him to turn against Batman. After he took a chunk out of his mentor's neck, the Cape Crusader became irreversibly infected. Using Mr. Freeze's cold suit to slow down the virus, Batman had enough time to say goodbye to his son Damien. As the virus completely consumed his mind and body, Alfred had no choice but to put Batman out of his misery, cementing Deceased's first couple issues as one of the genre's most deadliest. Number 8. Karen Page and Mysterio – Daredevil – Guardian Devil Although it's common knowledge that dating a superhero is extremely dangerous and sometimes maybe even a little bit stupid, few people know this better than Daredevil. Mr. Fear drove Matt Murdock's wife, Mia Donovan, insane. Bullseye killed his assassin sweetheart, Elektra. It's kind of the whole Daredevil thing. But despite both of those things, Matt's one true love, Karen Page, got it worse than anyone. When the master of illusion, Mysterio, learned he had terminal cancer, he decided to go out with a bang, tormenting Daredevil because, well, Spider-Man wasn't available or something. After all, Hornhead entered the church to stop his arch nemesis, Bullseye, Karen burst in after hearing the commotion. Bullseye hurled Daredevil's billy club at the blind superhero, but Karen deflected the weapon with her body, killing herself in the process. Now, that part isn't necessarily shocking, what was surprising was what followed. As Matt cradled Karen in his arms, Mysterio revealed he was behind everything. Mysterio assumed this revelation would push Daredevil to kill him, causing him to be labelled as a murderer forever. However, the man without fear refused to give Mysterio the satisfaction and walked away. Believing his entire plan had failed, Mysterio then took his own life by shooting himself in the head. Hey again everyone, Ewan from World Culture Comics speaking, and I have something really cool to share with you all as we've teamed up with Squarespace to bring you this video. Squarespace is the biggest and most user-friendly website creation service out there. It's easy to use and allows you to build your own elegant looking websites in no time at all. Seriously, there's a lot you can do here, like having a place to write your own articles about how Superman and Batman's trunks belong on the outside. 
they do. Whatever it is you want to do, it is possible thanks to the fact that Squarespace can be expanded upon using third-party tools and widgets to make a truly unique looking website. We here at WhatCulture have also been working with Squarespace to create a new storefront that includes merch of all your favourite channels, like WhatCulture Comics and the other ones. And again, running a business through Squarespace is super easy as you can plug in tools to help with shipping and tracking, as well as connect all your social media into the site, meaning that customers can see new designs as soon as you publish them everywhere you've got a platform. Sounds amazing, spectacular, and sensational, right? Well, if you're interested in joining the thousands of other Squarespace users, then why not do so at a discount? Head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Comics, and you'll get 10% off your very first domain or website purchase on us. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but for now, back to the list. Number 7. Hawkeye, Avengers number 502. We all know dying is rubbish. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. But do you know what's worse? Dying twice. Sadly, Hawkeye knows about this experience all too well. After Scarlet Witch had a nervous breakdown, her subconscious caused her to lash out at her friends. Using her reality-warping powers, Wanda caused fellow Avenger Jack of Hearts to detonate at Avengers Mansion, killing Ant-Man. She then compelled She-Hulk to rip Vision in half, murdering the Synthesoid. While the Avengers were still trying to wrap their heads around the whole thing, Wanda summoned a colossal Kree army on her teammates, resulting in the death of Hawkeye. Trying to reverse the damage, Wanda rewrote reality so that all of her friends were alive and well, including Clint Barton. Realizing that they can't live in a fake reality forever though, the avenging archer shot Wanda with an arrow, ordering her to return the world the way it was. Refusing to listen though, Wanda erased Hawkeye from existence. Even though several Avengers died during the storyline, Hawkeye gets special mention since Wanda killed him, resurrected him, and then killed him again in the same year. Number 6. Damian Wayne, Batman Incorporated number 8. Years ago, Batman quote-unquote slept with Talia al Ghul, the daughter of the ancient eco-terrorist Ra's al Ghul. Although Talia fell pregnant and had a baby called Damien, she informed Batman that she had a stillbirth so she could raise and train the child in secret. When Damien turned 10, Talia finally allowed him to meet his father. Talia assumed she could use Damien as leverage to make Batman join her cause to take over the world. Instead, Damien abandoned abandoned his mother's crusade and became Batman's new Robin. Dismayed, Talia had no choice but to initiate her backup plan, awaken an adult clone of Damien called Heretic and use him to dismantle society. After her organization, Leviathan, took over Gotham, Damien confronted his doppelganger and engaged in a sword fight. Despite Damien's age, he had proven to be an astounding fighter, even besting the previous Robin, Tim Drake, in battle. So, because of his fighting prowess, readers naturally assumed he would wipe the floor with an inferior a clone of himself. Sadly, that was not the case. Even though Damien fought valiantly, Heretic managed to impale him through the chest, killing him in one blow. Number 5. Jonathan Kent, Action Comics number 870. Since the 1950s, Superman has fought the megalomaniac alien called Brainiac. Tired of the Man of Steel thwarting his plans, Brainiac prepared to blow up the sun with a missile, which would wipe out all life on Earth. As Supergirl destroyed the missile and Superman immobilized Brainiac, it looked like the last of Krypton had stopped the evil extraterrestrial's plans. But the callous AI had one last trick up his sleeve. Just before he lost consciousness, Brainiac launched a drone at the house of Clark Kent's parents. Thankfully, Jonathan Kent saw the drone in time to get himself and his wife, Martha, out of the house before it exploded. But despite the fact that the Kents suffered no injuries, it was all too much for Jonathan. As he and Martha walk away from the rubble, John suffered a heart attack and died within a matter of minutes. Even though Soups did everything in his power to save the world many times over in this storyline, he was still unable to save his dad. Number 4. Iris West, Flash number 276 to 283. No matter how many times Eobard Thorne squared off against the Flash, the Scarlet Speedster always triumphed. Refusing to accept defeat though, Thorne devised a new way to destroy Barry Allen's life, through his wife, Iris West. Thorne had been in love with Iris for years and decided that if he couldn't have her, 
neither could Barry. After confronting Iris, Thorn gave her an ultimatum, stating he would kill her within 24 hours if she didn't leave her husband for him. While at a masquerade party the following night, Thorn asked Iris if she considered his proposal. Iris told the deranged criminal that she would never be with him, even if she wasn't with Barry. In a rage, Reverse Flash used his super speed to vibrate his fingers through Iris's skull, shredding the molecules in her brain. Number 3. Spider-Man – The Amazing Spider-Man number 700 While battling Dr. Octopus for the seventh billionth time, Spider-Man was struck by the tentacled scientist Octobot, causing Spidey to switch bodies with his rival. Because Otto Octavius was dying at the time, Peter Parker realized he would perish within a matter of hours if he didn't figure out how to put his mind back into his own body. But since this is our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man we're talking about here, readers didn't doubt for a second that the wisecracking web-slinger would triumph over Doc Ock, as he had done countless times before. After using the Sinister Six to track Dr. Octopus at Avengers Tower, Peter Parker and Otto Octavius engaged in an epic battle. With only minutes left to live, Peter had one of Octavius' own Octobots latch onto the good Doctor's head to revert them to their original bodies. Unfortunately, Octavius had planned for this possibility and had covered his mask's interior in carbonadium plating, making it impossible for the robot to access his mind. As Otto's body gave out, Peter Parker died, finally being bastard by one of his greatest ever enemies. Number 2. Craven the Hunter – Craven's Last Hunt after Sergei Kravinov dedicated his life to battling the deadliest creatures across the globe with his bare hands, he earned the moniker Craven the Hunter. Growing bored of fighting animals, Craven decided to challenge himself by hunting Spider Man. After shooting the web slinger, Craven assumed he'd killed him and so buried him in a shallow grave. He then donned a Spider Man outfit, proclaiming himself as his enemy's successor. After Spider Man dug himself out of his grave and confronted Craven, the Russian supervillain told him he enjoyed hunting Spidey more than any of his other prey. Believing he had nothing else to prove afterwards, Craven killed himself. An explosive end to the story of one of Spidey's most daring ever adversaries. And number one, Laurie and Judy Grimes, The Walking Dead, number 48. As the zombie apocalypse swept the world in the Walking Dead series, Rick Grimes' family and several survivors settle in an abandoned prison. When Rick's group are out scouting, they find the community of Woodbury. Here they encounter a man called the Governor. He immediately cuts off Rick's hand and tortures Michonne. Eventually, Michonne escapes and mutilates the Governor, leaving him for dead, and the group head back to the prison. Although they assume the Governor died from his wounds, he and his forces invaded the prison several months later, preparing to wipe out everyone. As the Governor broke into the building, Rick fled with his son, Carl, and his wife, Laurie, who was holding her newborn Judy. Although Rick and Carl avoided being shot at by the governor's army, one bullet cut through Laurie's chest, killing her and Judy. Although people were constantly being killed throughout the series, readers never thought the writers would kill off an actual newborn. It was in this moment that fans realized that no one in the comic was off limits when it came to being killed off. And those were 10 comic book deaths you never saw coming. Which comic book death made your jaw hit the floor? Let us know down in the comments below, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload going forward. I've been Ewan, make sure you're reading something cool this week, you little scamps, and I will see you next time. Bye!